Hi everyone. I just wanted to check in. I know that the new year is a great opportunity for us to have intent, to set out for goals that we aspire to, manifest things. But recently, I honestly was a little bit down and we all get that way sometimes. It's perfectly okay. And something that I did to combat that feeling, because it's very overwhelming, right? The state of the world right now. I started thinking about gratitude and it really helped me to come out of that hole that I was in. Um, so today, what I wanna share is the list that got me out of the hole. I think it's a really good project for anybody just to think of all the good, good things that you did accomplish, all the things you were able to do with your amazing, fabulous powers. It started in January, actually. Uh, there was a film that I was a part of called Searchers by Pacho Velez, and it premiered at Sundance. And I can't believe that that happened. I was doing a lot of acting work before, and I was auditioning for stuff. Um, and, it, you know, I filmed this way before, but it just so happened that it was released in January of 2021. Another thing that was cool about 2021 was I launched The Art Underground as a video project series on YouTube. And for everyone that knows me, you know I've been leading art tours for a long time, uh, since 2012. So it was really cool to take that idea of the art crawl and apply it to a digital platform so that anyone could enjoy it. And of course, I started that because of the pandemic, um, but I realized that I just also wanted to have that moment kind of archived and you know not everyone gets to go on the experience in person another great thing that pushed me in 2021 was being part of the d5 and 10 program for droga 5 um you know i worked there in a capacity that you know wasn't my normal gig it wasn't the professional thing that i normally do but what i got out of droga 5 was all the extra add-ons all the participation that i did with diversity and inclusion and just my creativity and landing a spot in the D5 and 10 program really helped me see myself more as an artist and a creative person. Also, this year, my good Judy Lucia Hierro, who's a Dominican artist, um, I got to wear her sneakers that she collaborated uh, with Adidas, you know, and they were just like, I was so proud to walk around with her sneakers on me, like, and people would ask me, oh my God, what are those shoes? And um, another Dominican that I met who was burning up social media this last year was Candy Muse from RuPaul's Drag Race. Of course, New York moment, I bumped into her on the street, and of course I stopped her. And you know what? Candy is one of my favorites. Um, another thing that happened this year was I finally got photographed by Tate Tullier. Um, he does a series called Tub Time with Tate. I have been a fan of this guy for years, 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 years. And I never, we were never in the same city at the same time. Um, one time he came to New York, I wasn't able to do it. I was working and I'm really proud of the pictures. They're just intimate and, you know, I don't usually see myself in that light. So I thought the pictures were beautiful. I mean, there were so many things and so many photo projects. Um, I was randomly part of JR. I don't know if you guys know this photographer, this French guy, uh, famous street artist. Uh, he worked on a project called the Inside Out Project. It was a moment to unify the city and say to everyone, hey, we're back open. Um, I was able to be part of that project and my photo right now is up on the walls of Port Authority at 42nd Street in Times Square, which is, sickening and I could not believe I just randomly bumped into that project. And, um, we also, if you saw my social media, we got to try the soft shell uh, crab bao bun at Num Juan Olita. That was an orgasm in your mouth. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm talking about when I say that it blew my mind and my mouth? <laughs> I started bringing people. It was like you could, if you, if I could drive, I would bring a bus full of people to this place. Like, I love dim sum, and Namwa for years has been one of the places that I always recommend. Soft shell crab bao bun. <laughs> you don't know until you know. 
I also got to see some cool shows because the, the shows did come back at one point. And I got to see Oso Fabuloso at the McKittrick. I got to see Jinx and Dela's holiday special at Town Hall. Um, and I saw Michelle Bateau finally. And I got to see Come From Away, which I was so grateful for. But I went to Puerto Rico, I went to Miami. My boyfriend Colin and I had so much fun. Um, I'm so grateful that I was able to travel at all. After 2020, you know, I just was happy to be anywhere. And it was really cool to be on a beach and just keep it light and fun. Um, and oh my God, oh my God, I released my first single on Spotify called Someone Else. Um, you know, I wrote this song a long time ago. I was actually in college when I wrote it. And I've been sitting on the song for a while. And I have other songs too. Um, but that one was my first one that I did by myself. I wrote the lyrics. I did the melody. Wrote the music. Everything. And um, I finally got to kind of launch it in the space that's you know, the, the space to launch music these days. And I'm a Spotify artist. And it just felt very official to finally release that track the other thing about 2021 and this is a secret that i'm sharing with you and only with you <laughs> if you like japanese food you would appreciate this place but i want to challenge you not only if you like japanese food but if you want to do an exceptional experience and try omakase for the first time omakase is when you leave all the selection up to the sushi chef, he decides what he thinks you should eat. And it's based on, you know, just his experience, but also what's the freshest for the day. You know, just a lot goes into an omakase. And I never had experienced it really ever. But it just so happens that my first experience was at this fabulous place called Kosaka. If you have the chance to go to Kosaka, that was one of the highlights of my year. I mean, I still talk about this. Me and my boyfriend, Colin, still talk about Kosaka. We're ruined. I don't even know when I'll do another omakase again, but we've done a few other ones just because we were like, oh, because Kosaka. And then we go and it's like, yeah, it's not Kosaka. Like nothing's gonna be Kosaka. I just wanna leave that. <laughs> you have to go. But it's for special occasions. I mean, it's not cheap. Anyway, the last two things are really special. First, I got to come back to the Roxy Hotel as director of guest experience. And I am just, I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be and at the level where I'm supposed to be. I started as a front desk agent. Then I left, came back, started the concierge program. And then I left and now I came back and I'm in my third turn. And I'm really doing things that I had never done there. So even though I'm at the same place, it feels brand new. It feels like I'm getting to do some mentorship. I'm getting to do some training. I'm getting to do the big boss things that I always wanted to. And I'm so happy to welcome guests from all over the world to the Roxy. Um, last thing but not least, I got my two kitty cats. Hey, kitty girl. Me and Colin got uh, our really cute kittens that are brother and sister jinx and mojo and i can't even see my life without them now they're the cutest things and they're still baby kittens um so i don't know i just really wanted to share everything that i thought was such a highlight this year because it made me feel so much better i super encourage you to make your own list use it as mental health oh, you know what speaking of mental health i also went to therapy this year and it really helped me and i already planned my return uh, this January, February, I will be returning to therapy. I recommend it for everyone. Um, just remember that you did great things in 2021. Even though the world had stopped, we did get it back going. You did give your all. You did do most of the things you probably wanted to do, and you're not giving yourself credit for it. So for 2022, let's be fabulous. Shine. I believe in you, and I hope to see more of you. Mwah. Cheers.